Hello, this is Bill McAfee. I'm the president of Empire Title Company in Carter Springs, Colorado. For those of you that have watched my YouTube videos before, um, you're expecting a leprechaun or CeeLo Green or every now and then uh, a chicken will pop into the screen. Well, you know what? We decided to, uh, because of the Waldo Canyon fires, we're going to take this one a little bit more serious. And first of all, I'd like to say to all those people whose, whose homes were destroyed or damaged, where our thoughts and prayers are with you. For those of you that have still not made it back into your homes, we're thinking about you. So just know that the community cares and, and we'll get through this. Um, we're going to start with the multiple listing system for the month of May, and I'm sorry we're just a little bit late. Uh, actually, our office was evacuated during that, uh, that fire. So anyway, here we go. The Pikes Peak multiple listing system. By the way, you need some good news, and here we go. Um, average price and medium price are both up, comparing the first five months of this year to the first five of last year. Two words, demand, supply. Demand up, supply down. You got it. Okay, any, any other questions on that? And residential units sold is up about, now this excludes townhomes and condos, but it's up about 6.5%. Inventory levels down about 30%. Number of listings, is so this is the actual number of sales down 25%. Foreclosures are down 4.3%. It just doesn't get any better. Looking through this, uh, months of inventory. Months of inventory are a leading indicator. I take the total number of units that are available at any one time, go to the previous 12 months and find out how many units were selling per month. Six months is normal. Notice everything below the two, and especially the 200,000 here is in the three and the fours. Hence, that's why you're seeing upward pressure on price in there. For you buyers in that 200 or 250 below price range, because of interest rates being where they are and because of inventory levels being so low, you may have missed the bottom of the market already. You need to jump in there, okay? Moving on, uh, year-to-date price range. The three to 500 is really starting to move. I'm gonna show a slide here in a minute. It's about a 2% swing. There are 2% more homes that are selling in that three to 500 range than there were a year ago. That range is picking up. I'm not saying it's appreciating yet, However, it is stabilizing and it's starting to move. Uh, number of sales. Notice that 250,000 and greater is about 27%. 249,000 and less is about 72%. Again, going back a year, that number was about 76.24. So we've seen a 2 to 3% swing in upper range. So the upper range is in that 3 to 5 starting to move. Now, hear me now, see me later. I don't know how that went. That's an old show or something like that. Anyway, the bottom line is if you're in that 700 up to a million, especially in that 8 to a million range, we still have too much inventory. We still have about 30 months of inventory in there, which is about three times the norm. We usually should have about 12. So bottom line is, if you're gonna sell in that pressure and your house needs to be a bargain, it needs to be in great condition, okay, uh, to get the thing moved and priced exceptionally well. In the lower markets, in that 200 and below, now buyer or sellers don't go crazy on me, because if you're 5,000 overpriced, you may not even get a showing. But you could probably start bumping those prices in that below too because of the demand down there and also the interest rates. Interest rates, um, okay, here I call this, this was in, uh, in 1970, uh, 1981, I call it the finger. Interest rates were over 18%. Notice down here we're down at like, we're closing at 3.5, 3.75 on 30 year, at, at, at low threes and high twos on 15 year fixed mortgages. Buyers, if you're looking, you're stable, get in this market. It's an absolute great time. Sellers, in the two below and the 250 below, we can start pushing prices just a little bit. Heed my warning, if you price at 5,000 over, you won't even get, you still won't get buyers to look because the market's that sensitive. Um, number of uh, months of inventory, uh, notice that we're only at five months of inventory, six months being normal, so we're still across the entire MLS, one month lower than what we would see as normal, hence you're having prices move up. Again, demand is high, supplies are dwindling. Uh, sales as a percentage of active listings, on a 15 year run, it'd be 15%. Here's what that means to you. You say, Bill, I'm sick of these numbers. Here's what it means. If we have 100 homes available for sale, typically in a normal market, we'll sell 15 of those or 15%. Well, we're up over 18% now, which means even compared to historical average, the, as a percentage of listings that are out there, we're selling a higher percentage. Uh, active listings on a 12-month running average, again, notice this, we're down somewhere it's around 3,800 listings now. Um, number of sales on the previous 12 months, notice that the trend has been up on the number of sales. This was 2006, 2007, and notice we've gone down and now we're bouncing back up. By the way, the camel hump there was the home incentive that we, uh, that we had. Looking through your active listings, um, active listings are still down now. We're about 3,800. Uh, on the sales price on a running average, notice this is a running average that we're picking up on sales price. I'm beating, a, I'm beating a dead horse here. Low, we have low, low supply, demand is increasing. Median sales price, notice a huge, a huge jump in the month of May. This slide is the one we just saw before, but the highs and lows have been taken out. Looking here on a 12 month running average, this is the median price. Notice that it's also going up. Uh, notice again from April to May a huge jump in median. 
just of interest to you, 31% of the sales that we did in the MLS in the month of May were, were VA financed, 17% were FHA, 36% were conventional, 16% were cash. So that, and there's other categories, but those are the main ones. So that was kind of the breakdown. Just want to say this again, if you're in the market to buy a home and you're under 250, you need to be in this market, you need to be buying. If you're in the upper end, 700 and up, you're gonna to have to price right, you're gonna to have to price as a bargain to get it sold. If you've ever thought becoming a landlord, now is this market is incredibly, incredibly hot. It's just on fire right now. So here's what I'd like to say to you, please consult your professional real estate agent because if you're a buyer in this market, it's absolutely phenomenal um, in the low end. If you're a seller, you need to consult with your professional real estate agent. And here's what I'd like to say again to all those people in the Waldo Canyon area, our thoughts and prayers are with you. Uh, this city has made it through. We've shown a lot of character and we'll continue to do that. Thank you. Bye.